Hi everyone, so guys we've learned about a lot of things but right now I just want to show you some more and interesting things in the JavaScript. Basically we were, we were just talking about the conditions so why not we should learn the switch statement which is actually in the condition conditional group but not the if else. So by the way, how to work on it? Create a variable first and the var1 and I'm just putting here the value as what I'm just putting here, I'm just putting Joe pair is the j is capital to be noted that the j and p is capital the joe pair is the joe pair is is my co-instructor for this course well the joe pair is in what i'm just doing here the switch tch the switch and the scroll the wait for a while now the parentheses and the curly braces now what the switch can do we can put we, we just put a lot of cases in the switch and in a parenthesis we just put the variable in any case if the value matches we got the result i'm just showing you how i'm just putting the var var1 only no condition no comparison just simply the value the value the variable whatever you want and go there and first of all just type case now what is a case the case can be my name Shahzaib, okay, if the value of this variable, the var1 is Shahzaib, then you can see that these columns, press inner or don't need to press inner actually, you can just do directly by there, but by the way, or I think I should do that there. So if the case is Shahzaib, then what to do? then the variables apos value sorry the s value is shahzaib pretty awesome if not then we have to use the break statement i'll just guide you about the break statement later on but there we, you, you, you just need to use the break statement this is necessary then the case and the I'm just typing here mark another person and then the value is mark At, again the break okay now another case if the value is Joe Perry's now don't forget this thing the case sensitivity the P should be capital and the J should be capital because there it is and then the columns and then the value if the Joe Paris is the right case so what to do the value is Joe Paris whatever so another break now save and go to the browser I'm going to the browser to check that out and here refreshing that now I'm not getting anything go back Actually, well, I'm not getting anything because here I just cannot show these things directly. So what I'm just doing, I'm just simply typing document dot write, and exactly I'm just cutting this. Well, one thing more, I just want to clear you that I can do almost everything. I can do here everything. I can attach a function. I can just run the document dot write. I can do a lot of different things. You know about all them. And there, I have to do the same document dot write. Just simply cut that one, paste there, and go down and do the same document dot write. I can create variables there too. Now save and go to the browser and uh, refresh. Now the value is Joe Paris. That means only that case has matched. But for example, if I just type the P as a small, the Joe Paris of P of the Joe Paris is small, now nothing. But just like the if and else, there is another interesting thing, the default UALT, the default, AULT, the default. Now, in the default, you know that I'm just talking about the default, so I just cannot put any value, any specific value, so just directly type document dot write. Sorry, nothing has matched. 
tc h e d whatever now save and now we just don't need to put the break because it's automatically breaking so go to the browser and refresh so nothing has matched and what to do if i just rectify this the p should be capital so refresh that now the, the value is joe paris in the same way if i just change the value of the var1 from joe paris to mark m a r k so save and refresh now the value is mark so i think you just understood how the switch works and this is the way switch works you can create the variables inside the switch too i'm just going to show you that too i'm just going after that first of all i'm just creating a new variable ans or res ult result here the result is empty for now okay but then i'm just going there and i'm just removing the document dot right just note what i'm just doing i'm removing the document dot right and again i'm just making this as simple as they was in this way and i'm just making you know that the result is empty for now but now the result is result has this value the variable value is shazeb and in the same way i'm doing the same i just i just want to show you that we can do everything almost so i just want to show you that how we can how we can create the variables in these in these cases and how we can use them result i'm actually modifying the result variable so now the last one i'm just removing the document dot write function for now and there i'm just typing result again now you know that the result can be this one and this one and this one and this one you know that only one case will run the default or any other case so exactly the result was uh, was empty there i'm just modifying the result so at last after the switch statement i'm just running the document the right and there what i'm just doing i'm just simply running the i'm just simply calling the result so go to the browser and refresh exactly it's same because i'm just showing the result and result has the value of the values mark for now the second case so in this way you can understand that how we can call these things and in the next class we'll do some more things stay tuned and goodbye